Hi, what's up, YouTube? This is my very first um, replay of uh, Apex Arena, so I wouldn't be able to do this because uh, whenever on the weekend I have to be at the shop, so there's no way for me to record. I can be, I, I can play at the shop, but there's no way I can do uh, streaming or you know uploading my video. So thank God to the new um, battle report, so now I'm able to do this. So. Just reached gold three, and would like to. If you're new to this channel, and I'm only a flag of courage monthly, you know, subscription. I only buy this. Then um, usually buy this, claim this, and call it a day. And a lot of people say that you know, Apex PVP, it's impossible to win because everyone's a whale. I mean, it's true in one way because you see my low rate in the beginning. I just lose so much, um, mainly because I feel like everyone has their S, like high tier SSR in like six stars, and they just have they just have like like much like higher advantage over you, and of course not a lot of points, but like all these people apparently are all you know whales, but. I want to say it, it's true in one point and in season when it's true. I think when it comes to season two, you should have a lot of um, resources to build your other characters. And for me, like not really using, like not buying crystals or anything to summon. I do have a lot of heroes, but of course, um, I only, unfortunately, I only have two who are at six stars, which is bozo and laden so the rest who i want to build they're all like three stars and it's gonna take me forever to catch up i need like a year or something but anyway that doesn't mean that you can't can't win so my other focus would be um i use matthew a lot and i do well i can't really show my roster here and i i focus on a lot of sr like because I have a lot of 6 stars SR and they're actually really good. I did some research from the China server and a lot of... Um, just how I think. I think like they can be useful in different situations. So I, I'm i a person who likes to use um, underused heroes. I just like to be different. That, that's me. Uh, so anyway, so let's get into it. So got to go yesterday and right after hit go and then the time time is up like this thing is actually stupid I, I don't like the schedule we should be able to play whenever we want especially when it comes to like only weekend limited right but anyways let's get into it um so my goal is to get the land grister people say it's impossible to get a land grister being close to free to play and trying to prove a point i'm here right now hopefully this weekend I reach here and so on um so battle report. So yesterday I started, um, and I've been losing three in a row. I was pretty close, but then I've been losing, and I couldn't really figure out why. And then I started winning, and I'm winning in like a, almost a win streak. Well, I lost here. This guy, it's, oh, he outplayed me. So I, I probably won't show every single matches. Some matches like they play poorly. Some matches, uh, I felt like I played pretty smart, kind of thing. So, um. But a hilarious one would be this one. Um, I think it was this one. This one, I'm going to do another one. This one is uh, surprisingly good. So let's go do this one first. So unfortunately, this part I have to blur it out because I can't really let... You know, in case people watch my video, I don't want them to know what roster I use because it's kind of unique a lot of SR here um, and there's some bait like bait ba uh, bands and such <clears throat> anyways now let's get into it so you can see that's his team so his mistake was I I felt that his mistake was uh he has a tank but he didn't put his, uh, I think it's strong arm, strong arm. So he doesn't really have a tank. So I think that was his mistake during the ban. I think his ban was kind of poor. 
not my my bad. I mean, um, his pick was kind of poor. So it's all range, except him. So I immediately have a tank. I had two tanks because my pick was kind of poor. But um, my Chris is kind of big because people always people just don't assume she's a healer. But I have Chris really strong and her redemption is literally um, Liana's prayer. But with two cooldown, and I have clock equipped, so I can kind of spam it. So anyways, let's get into it. He goes in. Um, so my Farga is not really a pure tank. I have him like he, melee. He can melee attack, do good damage. So Chris, um, I like using her a lot. People told told me that, like my guild members, especially saying that she's actually useless. But um, her buff, her talent is very good. Give like dispel one debuff and as one random buff. So the random buff can be something like, for example, this plus three mobility. That's a game changer. So I sometimes I would like play kind of lame. I would sit back and keep you know waiting for turns until I get like a good buff. That's I can't. A one one that I can like go in and kill. But anyways, let's keep going. So I'm pretty confident here, as long as I have um my tank protecting um my healer here. Okay, so round two. So I noticed that there's Liana, so debuff is not very efficient, but it's still really good so because you're all um, DPS there's also DPS because he didn't even bother trying to tank so it's a perfect time for me to debuff whatever I can I was also hoping well can't silent like you can see can't silent her because she has um, probably crystal ball or something so she is not very strong for magic defense and I knew that she has to, you know, heal before anything else. Like here. So I... Right here. Debuff them again. After she did that, I knew that Lefini has to be my second turn. I have definitely built and then she can move after she attacks because I have the spe special accessory. So right here I'm like, okay, she debuffed the spell whatever bulls are applied. But now I can actually use her to attack debuff them again. So they're not scary anymore. And he's so low, so later I can probably just move in Chris. Well, I have to move in my tank first and then move in Chris to um, heal my team. So here I applied the bomb here. He, uh, Joshua is basically dead with this much HP, and my elephant is actually quite strong. And again, Chris also dispelled um, a debuff just exactly like Liana. And then that was a mistake I made. I'm like, okay, that exactly how I explained to you guys, but I totally underestimated my um, his attack and my defense. I was like, oh shit! So I made this mistake. I'm probably gonna lose now. But good thing I knew that I didn't have a actual healer. Then I have consecration, which kind of you know, I kind of clash it with that. So I'll keep going. Again, he attacks. I don't really have him built. Good enough. 5.3k. And with Hot Rock. So, they're all like pretty weak. Attack us, I'm not too worried. Especially, I have. Two lives left here, 
So my next target is trying to kill Liana. And she literally has to heal again before she do. Before this guy does anything else because there's just too much debuff on him. And she's literally useless kind of with, you know, no damage and no active skills. So alright, let's next here. Um, I'm still okay because I have this buff. Despite my mistake making Chris die. Well, he's pretty useless now. Um, Bozo. I just have to make sure she stays alive because her bomb does so much damage and I still have um, aim is just so quick and use it. You can apply like three bombs at, around this range. Anyway, let's go. And right there, I'm like, oh no, I have to keep her alive, but now she's dead. I didn't think I was going to lose, but I'm like, okay, my chance of winning is really low unless I take her out or take someone out right now like I just want to take her out right now like right here and I have the uh, lava so she, he, uh, Hain is not a threat I just have to make sure I go move in and protect Bozo here Bozo is actually useful now because I can use Bozo to kill Altamuller Like right here. So it kind of works like juggler. Passive. I can heal my team. Got pretty lucky with my heart rock too, to be honest. Alright. So that's basically it. Only thing I was worried is that I have to... See, I'm pretty lucky with my heart rock. So the only thing I'm worried is that I have to keep chasing her and she keeps running away. But then when I look at her skill, she didn't have Dark Reaper. So I know I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to win. Without Dark Reaper, she can't regenerate her health. And I can just keep going with... Um, I have boots here. It makes it super useful. I can reach. Even if we die together, I'm going to win. So just I just have to literally make sure that um, these two don't die. Layden can't really do much. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even do any damage. So, good thing I still have another life. So here, I just have to make sure I protect Fargus. So I'm like, oh no. Because I lost Lava Titan right here. I was going to use it to cheese her. And I just lost it with that, um, the poison I got applied on by the black hole. So it's actually like pretty clutch. But good thing, you know, ran out of everything. And it clutched it. Honestly, pretty lucky. Um, so, you know, keep learning. I'm trying to... Um, have four four more of my SR and I should be able to use them in the next two weeks anyways if this is what you guys you know you guys, you guys like this kind of um, replay series um, commenting overing it um, comment below I'll you know definitely make more and I'll try to show my other replays as well thanks for watching